welcome today. We're going to be talking about timers in the Blender game engine. Um, you can use these for bombs, um, just countdown timers you need in your game, whatever. Um, I also like to thank everyone who shared the pre previous tutorial. And um, you can just go to my channel to look at all of the two tutorials I have up now. I'm going to be trying to upload one hopefully each week um, if I can. So just stay tuned and um, leave some comments if you have any questions or something you want to learn. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so we've opened an empty project. Um, I deleted everything in this scene. And we'll just be going to Blender game. And all you're going to do here is we're going to add a text. So now we have a text in. We're just going to rotate it so that we can see it right now. All right, I'll give this a, a shadeless material so it's just white because we don't have anything in our scene. All right, there we go. So now using text, you can just click tab to go into edit mode. Um, and you can just type out a message just like you normally would. Um, and we're going to type the number 10 because this is the number we're going to be counting down with. So we're going to open up our properties here. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to add a text game property. And we're going to make it an integer. So an integer is a number. Um, pretty much simple as that. Uh, we're going to add a sensor. And we're going to add a delay. So the delay is going to be 24 and 24. It's going to last 24 frames. The delay will be 24 frames. And it's going to repeat. Um, so now you would think this is the frames of animation. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be because even if you change um, your whole project to 60, um, it's not going to matter. 24 is going to be the closest to a second long. So I'm not sure why that is, but just leave it at 24. And so every 24 frames, or I guess every second, it's going to send a signal through. That's what we want. So we want every 24 frames or every second, it's going to send um, a message to basically count down the timer. So we're going to add a property. Um, and it's going to be an add, an add mode. Property will be the text, just as it says here. And the value will be negative 1. Now, you can do this the opposite way right here. If you decide to add up, you can just change this to 1. Since there is no subtract function, we have to basically add by negative 1. So um, that's just the way to count down. And so we'll just plug these two in. We get and, and if we click P, you'll see it do its action. So it's a nice little countdown. I want to get to 1. It's going to keep going to 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and go on from there. So we want it to stop at 0. And that's basically where we want everything to end. So how we can do that is we can add an always sensor, um, turn pulse mode on, we'll add a controller, and we'll add an expression. Now I know nothing of code, but this is probably the best line of code I know how to write. So basically what we're going to do is type in the property text and I believe this is cap sensitive so make sure it's a capital T just like it is in your properties and we're going to say that if text is less than zero so if it's less than zero um, basically we can have what we want to so if the text if the number itself here is going to be less than zero then we're going to want the object to end itself so we'll do edit object end object so, like I said, once this number here is less than zero, the object is going to end. So if we click play, three, two, one, and you have a little flash of zero, and then it disappears and it ends itself. So that can be really good for a timer. Um, one thing you can do, just so I can show you the amount of it, if the object is less than five, we can try that. So eight, seven, six and then it disappears. Um, that's basically how that works. So you can get this to do a lot of things if you wanted to, um, as soon as zero goes off, you could, um, I don't know, make a bomb create, you could um, make a light flash, you can do whatever. So I've just set up in the next um, layer a little sort of demonstration. I don't exactly have an explosion, but it's a little dynamite bomb with um, 10 seconds on it. So here we go. Boom. All right, so there you go. Just a really simple little thing you could use it for. Um, I hope this tutorial was um, interesting. I hope it was helpful. Um, and if you have any questions or anything of that sort, um, just please leave a comment. 
Um, thank you for all your support. Continue to share and like, and some more subscribers would be nice. I'd love to hear back from you guys. So um, just leave a comment. And thanks. Uh, see you later. Bye.